All right, everyone, after way too long, it feels like it is finally time for me to open up my special runs and most of my Briarfest Limited Edition models or formerly the store special models. They are not all here yet, unfortunately. This is two boxes that contain most of them though. They do contain all my special runs, supposedly, but not quite all of the rest of my Briarfest stuff. I'll probably do a different unboxing video on those things. Before we begin, I do need to mention that Briar did release the quantities and colors for all of the surprise models and the special runs because all of the special runs have some sort of variation this year. I was going to do a separate video about it, but then things came up and I just didn't get around to doing that. So I will have the numbers for those models up on screen for you to look at. Three of the special run variations are a 50-50 split like Briar usually does. And then the other ones have rarer decorator variations, which have only 200 made of those decorator colors. Lastly, before I open these boxes, I'm going to give a quick rundown of my preferred special run variation choices, because for all of them, except for the surprise models, it does seem like you'll be able to tell right away which variation you get, because you can see through the plastic before you even open it. So before I actually open this box, I will tell you my preferred variations. For Surratt, I kind of prefer the matte, but I also would be okay with the glossy. I think he looks beautiful in both. For Tassili, I think I would maybe prefer the original Marwari mane and tail version, but I also do think the other one is very cute, the barb ears and fluffy mane and tail. For Uffington, I love both the original or the decorator color. I think they both look amazing. The same goes for Grand Cavallo. I love the decorator, but I also really, really love the original beautiful dark bay guy. For Ansel, I would prefer the decorator for sure, because I was kind of already on the fence about this model to begin with, but then the blue decorator version of him I think is just amazing. So I would really like the decorator version of him, but you know, if I get the other one, that's fine too. For Pollock, I actually would prefer the rainbow one. Of course, it's really cool to get the rare one regardless, but for just how it looks, I do like the rainbow version best. For Gnosis, I think kind of maybe both. He does look really good in gold, although I do also really like the original realistic one. And I did not order Pesh Merle, or however you say his name. I did not purchase him, so he is not going to be in any of these. And I'll say briefly for the surprise, even though we probably won't be able to tell what the different colors are through the pink parts of the bag. But ideally, I want one of each color. I especially want the Sabino, and it would also be really nice if I got the decorator. But I think as long as I don't get too many duplicates, I'll be happy with it. All right, now let's actually go ahead and start opening this. It has been so suspenseful waiting for these special runs. And I was waiting to make sure to open it with you guys on camera because I wanted to share my reactions with you all. I see bubble wrap already. I see special runs here. All right, I see, I think this is to silly right here. That's all I can tell so far. Get the paper out of the way. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. So let's see who's the first one on top here. This says Surratt. Okay, now I cannot really tell. He does have a lot of bubble wrap on him if he is matte or glossy. So I'll have to actually open him up. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. 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 I just now looked down, maybe you guys saw before me, I just now looked down and saw blue and just knew right away. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking. It's the blue hand so Oh my gosh, I'm like so excited right now. I can't even, I can't even with it. I just, out of the corner of my eye, I saw the blue and I just knew because there's no other, no other Briarfest model that has that much blue on it. And oh my gosh, out of all the decorator variations, I think, in a way, I wanted him the most since I didn't wasn't like super in love with the regular Ansel to begin with. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm shaking. I'm so excited. I can't decide if I should open him right this second. <laughs> my mom's saying yes. She she wanted to see too. She wanted to see the models while I was filming, which isn't we don't normally do that, but she really wanted to see the special runs. I am so excited. Oh my gosh. You guys can let me know in the comments if you saw the blue Ansel before I did, because I bet there's some of you that did and probably like, oh my gosh, why did she not see that one yet?
Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, she looks already prettier than what they showed in the picture. Also, I'm sorry if this camera angle is a little weird, maybe, I don't know. I just wanted to do a camera angle that you guys could see what I was seeing as it was happening. Uh, my mom was asking how many were made of these and they are, there's 200. Only 200 of each of the special decorator variations. Oh my goodness, he is, he's like, he's a lot lighter blue than I thought he was actually. This guy's kind of almost more like a, just like a lighter blue than I thought he was based on the pictures I saw and I really like it. Oh my gosh, he is so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. It looks even purple in different ways. Yeah, my, I don't, uh, you guys might not be able to hear that. Uh, my mom just said that he actually looks kind of purple in the light too, and he does at certain certain angles. He does look more iridescent. He's definitely a metallic blue. He's not just a regular, regular blue, but you can maybe tell already on camera there that he is very, very metallic and shiny. That's not just the gloss, the paint is actual metallic and oh my gosh he is such a beautiful horse i just i can't believe this he is stunning and i'm gonna have to do better close-ups for you guys later because this particular camera lens does not do close-ups very well but i will promise i get better close-ups of him for you all he does say briar fest 2021 on the belly and oh my gosh i just can't get over how pretty this beautiful decorator blue is Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. This color really does look different depending on the light and how the light hits him. I don't know if I can really get it to show up on camera, but as color does look purple in certain light and angles, it's not really showing up, I don't think, on camera, but in person you can see he's got like a purpley kind of sheen at the top of him in certain lights, and it just looks so cool. So really just, no matter what light you have him in, he looks awesome, but his color does kind of change a little bit depending on what the light is like. I figured I should show you guys what the blue Ansel looks like in the sunlight to give a better idea of that really cool effect on his paint. This guy looks gorgeous. I'm just, oh my gosh, still shaking. He is incredible. I will go ahead and set him aside for now though, and we'll continue on to see what other special runs we got. All right, there's uh, Sarad. I don't know if we should go ahead and open him now uh, since we don't know what he is. I guess we could. And let's see if he is the glossy or matte. Again, I kind of would like the matte, but the glossy is also very pretty, so honestly, I can really just go either way with this guy. I think he's gonna be so incredible. All right, let's see if we can guess here. I know I'll probably be able to figure out once we get this last layer off. Oh, he's the matte one. Okay, cool. I was kind of hoping for that. Ooh, he already looks very pretty. Now he was not one of my top favorite Briarfest special runs at first, but after a while he kind of grew on me. <laughs> oh, he looks like he has absolutely lovely dapples too. Nice and subtle, like not too, too over the top. Oh, on that side you can see them more. You can see the little bit of a kind of fish scaly look on that side a bit more. Yeah. Typically I don't mind it too much. I know some people are very fussy about it, but I think he looks Ooh, good, especially so on this pretty. side. I don't know if you guys can hear my mom, but she keeps saying he's so pretty. He is a very, very, very pretty, pretty guy. He's got that beautiful pearly mane and tail. I do love the pearly mane and tails. I think they are just so, so fun. And I know this model has been having some masking issues and I think it's just because this mold is super hard to get the mane right. So he does have like a little bit of overspray right there and the masking's a little off right there. Slightly off on his face there too, but 
overall he is just gorgeous oh my gosh he is beautiful he does also have beautiful beautiful tricolored eyes in there oh my gosh just a beautiful shade of brown i will definitely have to show you better close-ups of his eyes because they're just gorgeous sometimes bird is kind of like a sort of reddish shade of brown on their eyes but this one's like a very much kind of a chocolatey brown and it is just suits him really really well he is a very gorgeous guy and he also does say briarfest 2021 on his belly and i just can't stop looking at him he is so gorgeous and i'm like oh my gosh i'm just so excited we so far have a two for two of the like variations i had the preferences over so we'll see what else what else happens here with the next special runs so next we have to silly here i also see offington and he is not the dark offington that people have been calling him but that's okay i do love the original version of him too and we already got a gorgeous gorgeous decorator model so my uh my luck has been used up for this briar fest already i feel like so let's see to silly i can probably ah i think i can already tell by how his tail is that he is the barbed version the fluffy mane and tail version of the mold and as i've opened this i also want to mention since i didn't talk about this yet because i didn't have a video to talk about it yet but interestingly is that these special runs have variations and yet they didn't put the special solid cover bags over them like they did for briarfest 2014 and 2019 which i guess makes sense because by that point they knew that the special runs were going to be online so when these models actually went into production they were probably just like eh we don't need to worry about doing the bags over them like we would an in-person briar fest since these are all getting shipped to people you can definitely tell now his tail is the uh, longer swishy barbed tail Ooh, so this is gonna be a really pretty guy too my mom is also saying he's very pretty there's his face uh, yes, so I was asking if all of these ones are glossy, and yes, for this one they were all glossy, even with the uh, different mane and tail combinations. Ooh, I like it. Yes, he is. He is really very cute. Oh, I know, like I said, I brought the Marmari version, but honestly, I do love the Barb version too, because look how adorable he is. He just looks so cute. There's also an interesting post Briar did about him for the Briarfest special run numbers where they talk about how the inspiration behind him and stuff has more to do with the barb than it does the marwari. So in a way, it actually makes him a little bit more akin to this Briarfest theme, if that makes sense. I really love this guy's tail. The cool thing about this guy's swishy tail is how they painted it. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty that transition from the white to the chestnutty is, chestnutty copper look, because it actually has some gold in the middle there, and I think that looks so cool. Oh my goodness, he is just a very gorgeous looking guy. He is kind of a very metallic, coppery kind of looking horse. I know some people were even thinking at first that there might be like a straight copper version because this one just looks so, so coppery and shiny. But there is no decorator versions on this mold. It is only the mane and tail split. Look how beautifully shaded his face is. And he also has those beautiful eyes. He also has like a little bit of pink in the corner of his eyes instead of white. They're just beautiful brown eyes, and he's just, wow, so pretty. Such a very pretty bottle, and the gloss really does just enhance that beautiful, metallic, coppery look for him. He is gorgeous. So next up here is Uffington, and again, I could tell right away he is not the decorator version, but that is okay because I do love the original Uffington. He just looks so gorgeous from all the pictures I've seen of him. Oh my goodness, this guy is just gorgeous. Oh my gosh. He is lovely. I do have the Premier Club model of this guy, uh, Altenai, already. So I am familiar with this mold. He has a very long mold, which I know some people find uh, very difficult to find a place for on their shelves, but I just love this mold. I think it is so gorgeous. I'm just so, so glad Briar did this color in this mold because it is just perfect for this mold. I just can't get over how beautiful it looks on him. His coloring is just so nicely done. There's so much shading involved. Even though he kind of looks like maybe at first glance just like a flat cream color. He has so much shading. 
can see this beautiful kind of darker creamy shading at like certain points like on his joints a bit on his haunches Pryor really does do an amazing job with making their models have these more realistic interesting coat colors and not just a flat color on them and oh my gosh his face is so cute he does have pink shading around his eyes and around his nose and his eyes are blue and i think they just look lovely if you guys have been following my briar fest videos my live streams and stuff you've probably heard me say before that this guy was one of my absolute favorite special runs this year he does not disappoint at all he is just perfect and gorgeous can't get over how beautiful he is but there is the absolutely stunning uffington my mom's just asking if the pink bags are surprise models and yes they are so this must be all five of them i'm not going to open those up right this minute i'll open them up together after we open the other special runs i'm thinking but uh, don't worry we'll be we'll be opening all five of these together now the other three models in here look like they are my store specials well they're technically called limited editions now but formally the briar fest store specials here is reverence plus and he is the beautiful little pinto arabian and i'm sorry you're not going to be able to see super well because of the glare but he is cute we'll most likely open these models up later on in this video but i'm not going to open them right this minute next up here i see we have apollo look at this gorgeous boy oh my gosh he looks also just super gorgeous he'll be very fun to unbox as well and lastly for this box we have josie or queen of hearts and she also looks gorgeous oh my gosh this is such such a fun color i'm so glad that briar was able to actually make a more obtainable version of this color because it's only been really seen on the live auction models before so this is a super super fun she will also be a fun one to unbox all right so that is it for this big box here we go for the second box so this should have the bowl Gnosis, grand cavallo pollock those are for the three special runs that should be in here and then i should have pal's palette and favril all right i'm just seeing brown paper first Get that brown paper out of there. I see Pal's palette right away. That's exciting. I'm also very glad because there is not a Danny in here instead of Pollock. I see Pollock already and I'm excited. He is the rainbow version. Just because he's on top, here's Pal's palette. So this is this year's plush. But look how adorable this little fuzzy guy is. He's got his little Briarfest 2021 palette. He's got his cute little, little paint splatter Appaloosa spots. It's got a little fuzzy tail and mane. His mane's like really, really short and adorable too. Uh, for his number, he does have the number on his hoof. He is 1,376 of 2,500. Anyway, there's Pal's palette. Super soft, adorable, fluffy little guy. I also see right on top here is Favreau, but uh, we'll open him up in a minute, uh, maybe after the special run models. Okay, I will say, I see Gnosis, Pollock, and then that must be Grand Cavallo. From my angle, I can see right away that Pollock is rainbow, so I guess we'll pull him out first. The bowl, I'm not quite sure yet. I think it's the regular, regular one, but we'll get a better look in a minute. Ooh, Pollock though, you can see he's rainbowy just from right there. While I wouldn't have necessarily minded the gold version of him, and I thought it was a really cool thing for them to reverse the colors on him like they did, Overall, I did like the rainbow one best, so in a way, I'm kind of glad I ended up with the rainbow one. Oh, I'm so excited. And something else that's really exciting is because of virtual Briarfest. It's different than in-person Briarfest. I haven't been able to see any of these models in person. Normally, at in-person Briarfest, you can actually go to the Clarion before Briarfest. And in the Artisans Gallery, they put out like all the special runs, except for the surprise model, of course. And you can actually go and look at them all in person and you get to see them in person at the special run line too so you actually get to see them before you purchase them but Briarfest online has been different you can only see pictures of them until you actually get one in hand or have a friend that has them or whatever the case is oh my gosh look at the colors on this guy ah he is amazing 
Oh my gosh, his colors are even more beautiful and saturated than I thought. They're just, oh my gosh, look how beautiful that is. And I already mentioned this when he first came out, the pictures of him. But the thing I absolutely love about this guy is that he has actually a very pretty purple on him. A lot of Briar's other purple models like Spectrum and Prism, one of the things that has kept me from purchasing them is the fact that I didn't really like the shade of purple on them. But this guy has just oh, the perfect shade of purple. And oh my gosh, look at those beautiful, beautiful little gold spots. You can probably see them shining a bit in the light there because they're metallic. The little gold Appaloosa spots on him. His face is a really pretty pink. That's also kind of fun. I don't think they've normally done the pink on their rainbow models. So I do like the addition of adding pink to them. And there's uh, his other side. Oh my gosh, look how pretty he is. And he is glossy, if you didn't know that already or tell from the pictures, camera, things here. He is glossy and he has gold hooves and he is just such a beautiful model. Briar did really knock it out of the park in designing this guy. He is just incredible. All right, uh, let's see. I guess we'll do Gnosis first just because he's closest to me here. Grand Cavallo, I'm actually not sure yet if he is the regular or decorator. Too hard to tell right now, but I'm going to go ahead and do him after we check out Gnosis. Oh, Gnosis is kind of hard to tell too right now, actually. I think he's the regular one. This one's a little harder to tell for sure because the gold and the regular one are kind of so co close together in the color palette. It's harder to tell. Oh, I'm still not 100% sure. I think it is the regular one though, just because it looks... Yes, I think it is the regular one. Yes, I can tell now. It does look like the regular one. Because I can see the little bit variation in colors. The gold Gnosis is a solid gold. Oh yes, he is definitely the regular one. But that is okay. I'm very excited about him regardless. I think he is going to be so cute. Oh, the bubble wrap is like really tightly around his horns there. We'll do the one there anyway. Oh, he's so cool already. If I can get the bubble wrap off his face. There we go. Oh, he is a lovely guy. He is nice. Oh, my mom also likes him. Yeah, he's cool. So one thing I also really love about this guy is that he does uh, look so much like the artwork that inspired him. It was a leaping bowl fresco, I believe. He looks just like the bowls in that painting, which is just so awesome. Oh my gosh, he is so pretty. Look at his beautiful, beautiful white markings. They look just perfect. Oh my gosh. I already feel like I got super lucky because all these models, they look gorgeous. There's only like teensy tiny little minor, minor, minor factory flaws you see like in every briar so far that I've been seeing on these guys, but they're just otherwise next to flawless. They're beautiful. Adore his design. It is so perfect and amazing. He has beautiful, again, beautiful painted eyes where they are brown. You can see there's even like a little bit of pink in the edges of them. Oh my gosh, Briar also knocked it out of the park doing their eyes again this year on the special runs. It kind of depends. Sometimes they do the really more detailed tricolored eyes on their special run models. And then sometimes they don't. I don't really know what the uh, whole thing is with that. Some, some years they have black and white eyes. Some years they have the beautiful, more detailed tricolor eyes. Just seems to depend on the year. I love to hold him like this because he's just got the funniest looking face when you look at him from from this, this perspective. He's just so cute. Look at him. Oh my gosh. I love him so much. He is just adorable. I'm so glad I was able to get picked for this guy. All right, on to the last one. But last but, last but not least, this was another one that was one of my top special runs. Honestly, it was a hard choice because Uffington, Pollock, and then Grand Cavallo here were all ones that I just absolutely adored this year. I'm not actually sure if he is the regular or not. This is another one where it's kind of hard to tell on the plastic, like through the plastic. Okay, it looks like he is the regular one. Oh, he is so pretty. He is just going to be so pretty here. Oh, he's so dark and gorgeous. Oh, I love him. Oh, he's such a pretty model. I can't get over him. Oh, she's gorgeous. Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear my mom, but she said he is gorgeous, he is and gorgeous. I agree. He is super gorgeous. He also has the uh, tricolored eyes. 
He has a peachy muzzle and I just adore the color of him and his markings are just, I just love them so much. I talked about this before in the stock photos, but I love that there is a little bit of like kind of a different color in his mane a bit, like some highlights going on in his tail. It's kind of a less dark brown, but it just looks so good and more, more natural instead of it just being like a flat black mane and tail. It looks so good. Oh my gosh. I just, I love his markings so much. They're like perfect too. Oh my gosh. They're so, so perfect and crisp all over. Like, wow. I feel so, so lucky that all these models are just perfect condition. Absolutely gorgeous models. I absolutely, absolutely love him. He does also have some very nice, like subtle highlights and shading in his color. It's another one where if you may just quickly glance and may think it maybe it's a flat color, but it's not at all a flat color. It has so much depth in the coloring and shading. I just can't get over how beautiful this guy is. So this is like one of the absolute best years for Briarfoot special runs, honestly. All right, so now we opened up all the regular special runs. Now for the moment, I'm sure a lot of you guys have been waiting for. I have two. We have the Seven Arts Surprise model. All right, here we go. Once I get the plastic off, I'll definitely be able to tell which color the model is. I might not be able to tell right away or not though if it is a glossy or matte one. So let's see. And I'm very excited to see what colors I get here. Also, I'm sorry, the color might be kind of weird on camera because I did not properly white balance it today. Oh, okay. It looks like it's gonna be the Pintalusa, I think. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think it is the Pintalusa because I saw some spots. See some spots on the rump. Yes, it is the Pintalusa. I am excited about that. I did want to have one of the well, as I've said already, I do want like one of each color basically. I like all the colors, so I am happy with any of them. All right, and this is a matte one. A matte Pintalusa. Oh, so pretty. Oh, lovely, lovely model. Look at all those pretty spots. I do like the design of this model quite a bit. Something definitely interesting and very much fits the horse of a different color theme. And I love the resist dappling. For this case, it's kind of more like a varnishy Appaloosa kind of thing they're going for with it and not like regular splattery dapples, but like the resist splattery situation I like a lot. I just think it looks super cool. And he's lovely. I like him a lot. I'm glad to have him. His color actually looks a lot better in person than in some of the pictures. In some of the pictures, he looked kind of weird at first or like the first, first one or two pictures that came out of this model. I didn't really like him and I thought he was kind of just in because the color looked really weird. But in the later pictures I saw of him and here in person, his color is actually very nice. It is a nice, I believe it's Palomino. I could be wrong on that, but I think it's supposed to be like a Palomino Pintalusa. Look at his face. He's got a really cute face. Again, he does have those beautiful detailed eyes. His ears are a little bit darker. He has a nice pretty blaze with a pink muzzle. He is very nice, very lovely model. So there is the beautiful Pintalusa for our first surprise. All right, now on to our next surprise. Let's cross our fingers that I don't end up with five of the Pintalusas, which is very possible. And as much as I like the Pintalusa one, I really don't need five of him. Let's see. Oh no, it's another Pintalusa. This could be bad. We could be having five of the Pintalusas. <laughs> Let's see if he's glossy or matte. If it is a glossy one, that would still be pretty cool because that wouldn't be uh, quite the same as uh, having another matte one. Oh, oh my gosh, he's glossy. <gasps> That's exciting. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that that is much more exciting than just getting another matte one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she is really cool in gloss too. Normally light colored models don't look super great in gloss just because it can be kind of hard to tell they're glossy and they don't add too much to the color. But oh my gosh, I actually am liking this guy in, glo in gloss. Oh, oh, he's so pretty. Oh, I'm very excited. 
and I was not at all expecting to get a glossy since I, um, like I said, I feel like I got all my luck already on the uh, blue Ansel. So getting a glossy surprise horse is pretty exciting. Oh my goodness, look how glossy and shiny he is. Let me actually show you next to the matte one, matte and glossy comparisons. Ooh, gloss does definitely add something to his color though, like those uh, Appaloosa markings on him uh, pop a lot more. And the color on him looks a little bit different because of the gloss. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, I'm very excited. Excited to get a glossy one. And then we also have the beautiful matte one. Oh, this is super fun. I'm excited. <laughs> now I'm just crossing my fingers that the next one won't be a Pentaloosa at all, since now we got a glossy and a matte. But yay, these are, these are exciting. Yay. On to surprise model number three of five here. I'm trying not to get my hopes up too much that I'll end up with other colors, honestly, because it could end up being all Pentaloosas based on what has been happening with other people's orders and such. Oh no, oh no, no, I think it's the Sabino. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yes, I'm pretty sure it's the Sabino, yay! I know he's the most common color, but I don't care because he is the color I wanted the most, so I'm so excited. Some of the absolute best Firefest special runs ever, ever, ever. Oh, he is the matte one and he is so pretty already. Oh my gosh. I am so happy. The Pentaloosa was also kind of higher, like kind of middle of the road, I think, in color-wise. The most I wanted, I believe anyway, on the Briarfest special run video I did, was I said I wanted this guy, then the decorator, I think, and then it was either the Pentaloosa or the Champagne Pinto guy. But, oh my gosh, yay, I got the beautiful Sabino, and I love him so much. And I barely looked at him, but I just know I love him so much. His color is so cool. It's like a lot more purpley than I thought. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a very interesting kind of pinky, purpley, rony looking thing. He's not a roan though. They said he's like an extreme Sabino, which uh, Sabinos do cause what basically looks like roaning, where the uh, white... The white little hairs mix in with the regular base color of the horse. His markings are so cool! And he actually has pinking on him too, like under his uh, shoulder here. And his elbow, he's got some very subtle pinking. It's maybe hard to see on camera. He has a beautiful pink nose. He has brown tricolored eyes that are beautiful and glossy. Again, the color on him is just, it's very, very pretty. I don't know even how to describe it. His markings, I just can't get over how cool they are. He is just so cool. His mane even has like, looks like some kind of variation in the paint job. Um, I don't know how well I'll be able to show it on camera, but it's kind of like striped over here. Like it's not just, again, not a solid color or anything. It's got some very nice variation and shading and highlights. Kind of the same for his tail. It has a lot of variation here, kind of bl how it blends from the top of the tail to this darker bit, to the white. Very, very, very happy right now. All right, on to surprise model number four. Let's see what color this one is. And this does look like a, another Sabino, but that's okay. Let's see if it is another matte one or if it is a glossy one. If it is a glossy one, that would be truly incredible. But let's see here. I'm sorry, what? 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 <laughs> it's a glossy Sabino? I am losing my mind right now. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever, 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 ever <laughs> gotten two glossy Briarfest uh, surprise horse models before. Although I know they have been like raising the numbers of the glossy ones. So they're a little bit easier to get than like several years ago and such. But still, I never expected to get one glossy. And now I have two? Oh my gosh. And I kind of love the fact that they I have the glossy and matte of two, like the same colored ones. I think that is so awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind right now. This is just a super awesome, super special Lucky Briar Fest special run haul this year. Oh my gosh, he looks incredible in gloss. I cannot believe this. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Look how beautiful he is. Let me pull out the matte one. 
So you can see the matte one with him too. Look how neat, what, look what the gloss does to him. I'm sorry, this is uh, not the best comparison in this particular shot, but I'll show you better, again, better pictures and stuff. Look what the glossy does to his color. It like completely changes how it looks almost. It's, wow, it looks like a totally different shade of like this Roni Sabino-y looking thing. Oh my gosh, I just, I can't even right now. It's crazy, it looks like a completely different horse in matte versus gloss. I love both, I am just, I am so ecstatic right now. This is, I, I can't even. I was really expecting to just get another matte one of the uh, Sabino here when I saw it was a Sabino, which I was fine with, but then I got a glossy, oh my gosh. I'm just, I can't, I can't even right now, guys. I can't even, and we still have one more surprise left. All right, guys, on to our final surprise model and also final special run opening here. If this model's a color other than the Sabino and Pentalusa, I'm just gonna really lose my mind here, honestly. Okay, it does look like it is another, another Sabino. Okay, this one does look like it is another matte. Oh, here he is. He is also just, oh my gosh, gorgeous. I'm gonna have to compare the two matte ones together and see which of them I like the best. Oh, this one is a really nice one though. I think I'm gonna have a hard time probably deciding on which one of them to keep. Here's the other matte one. Wow, they're both just very nice. The one I just opened up here is like a little bit more of like the purpley roni kind of thing. Actually, they are kind of different on their backs anyway. The new one here is kind of more of a purpley roni thing going on. This one's got the lighter kind of color going on with a little bit more speckles. Ooh, it's gonna be hard for me to decide which one to keep and then not keep, but I will worry about that later on and just appreciate how gorgeous these models are. I just cannot get over my luck of getting two glossy surprise models while getting matte of all five of the colors would have been ideal. Honestly, getting the two glossy models of two colors I really, really like is honestly just as good. Well, I tried to get all of my special runs together for like one big sort of picture here. But unfortunately, my table is just barely big enough for them, so I apologize. It doesn't look the greatest on the sides here. But here is my Briarfest special run haul. I just absolutely love everything. They are all so beautiful. Briar really did do such a nice job on these special run models this year. I just seriously love and adore each and every one of them. And I'm just so happy. Now I have decided that I'm going to wait to open up the three limited edition models that are still in their boxes in the next Briarfest unboxing video. And that is just purely for time's sake because I'm sure this video is already gonna be very long. And I do have some other Briarfest stuff I'm waiting for anyway. So you will see another Briarfest video after this one. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed looking at all of these beautiful models. I know I certainly had a fun time getting to open them with you guys on camera. Let me know down in the comments below which Briarfest special run model this year has been your favorite. It could be one of the regular variations or it could be one of the rarer decorator variations.